What's good, YouTube? Logan Duran, Frat Boy Fitness here, back with another dope ass video. Um, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that shit. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by Halloween. I got a banger of a video today. I think y'all are all gonna enjoy. It's a bid or no bid. Um, so for those of you that don't know, uh, what fraternities do in Rush Week when uh, it's time to give out bids, decide you know who you want in your next uh, pledge class. Um, Usually everyone in the fraternity meets and they have a slideshow like this we're about to show you. And on each slide, they have the uh, PNMs, potential new members, and pretty much they'll have a picture of their face and then they'll say like their hometown, their uh, GPA, major, all that stuff, and then like pros and cons. And then usually what happens is everyone in the fraternity like roasts the person. Uh, and then, I mean, even if everyone likes you, they'll still, like, roast you and shit, and they'll give you a bid or not. And that's how pretty much everyone decides they vote on it. Um, I think when I was rushing, they told me, like, they put a picture of, like, me and my ex-girlfriend on the screen. And they said, like, uh, yeah, he, um, he dates out of his league, so, you know, he's a, he's a, he pulls pussy or something like that. You know, they, they bust your balls and do shit like that. So, um... Uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. Um, I'm doing all fitness YouTubers. Um, this is going to be kind of funny. Um, if you guys want to see, if you guys like this video and you want to see part two, uh, comment, let me know, and then tell me which uh, YouTubers you want me to to review and see if they uh, get a bid in our fitness YouTube fraternity. All right? First up, uh, we got uh, uh, the parrot from the lab himself, Greg Doucette. Um I personally love Greg, but he would have a hard time in the fraternity. Um, let's start going over his pros first. Um, uh, I pretty much I like Greg. I think he's a cool guy. But you know, some uh, I'll, I'll go over the pros first. He's the Turk plug. You know, uh, every fraternity needs a good plug, whether it's uh, for turkesterone or other um, recreational activities. But Greg will be the Turk plug. Uh, also, he has a cool car. I think he has like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari SUV. That's actually dope as hell. I didn't even know they made that until uh, he bought one. And Greg's a really smart guy, so he would have a great GPA. So, you know, every fraternity, you have to have a minimum GPA to get in. Greg wouldn't have that problem. Now, the cons, um, he did get arrested for selling steroids, so he has a criminal record. That's a big hit. Uh, I don't think many people in fraternity would, would want a guy with a criminal record in it. Uh, well, a criminal record is that serious. I mean, small stuff like, you know, public urination stuff. I, you know, who gives a shit? But, you know, he's got a class one felony in Canada, so that, that would go against him. Second, he has an annoying voice. I could see when it came time to give him a bid or not, uh, people would say, he has an annoying voice. I don't want to hear him. Uh, during the pledge process, uh, I can definitely see Greg acting like he's too smart and he knows it all, and uh, back-talking to other uh, fitness, uh, to other uh, brothers in the fraternity, and I could just see that the chapter would be split on him. Some people like him, some people hate him. I personally like Greg. But I could definitely see, uh, I could definitely see people being split on him. So I'm gonna have to go no bid on Greg. I would vote for him, but I think the chapter as a whole would not vote for him, uh, based on the criminal record and just how people think he's a know-it-all. So sorry, Greg. I like you, but no bid. Keto body. <laughs> uh, for keto body, uh, this dude's fucking parents are fucking loaded. Have you seen the house he has? Like the if you go watch like his like. Uh, real Bruce Wayne video or something like that. Like, this dude's parents are fucking loaded. So his dad probably was in a fraternity. So his dad was probably an alumni. So this guy gets an automatic bid. Uh, but I'll just go over it because of that. And uh, his dad being an alumni in the long run is not going to help him because he's going to the fuck haze out of him. But um, we'll start off with, he's a San Pellegrino plug. Uh, this guy always drinks San Pellegrino. I'm not really sure why. I think it's kind of disgusting, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, that, that's always something good. Second, he has rich parents. Uh, so, I mean, you know, you can pay his dues, and uh, that's always good to have. And then he does seem to, to pull pretty good. He seems to be pretty good with the ladies. But uh, the cons are is that Greg is a little full of himself, which I don't mind. I like Greg. Um, he's one of my favorite fitness YouTubers, but I can see people in the chapter uh, complaining about it. Uh, he won't show up about the Hollywood physique. <laughs> he talks about that too much. So that gets a little annoying. And then he might be a little too good with the ladies. So some of the sororities might hate him. Might be bad for sorority relations overall. But um, 
I think the biggest thing going against him is that he's got rich parents and his dad is an alumni. Uh, he's going to get the fuck haze out of him because a lot of people in the chapter are going to hate him because he got an automatic bid. Uh, so he will get a bid and he will get in, but he will be a controversial brother. I love fucking Kino Body. Uh, and next up, Brandon Harding. Uh, spoiler, this guy doesn't get a bid. Um, Brandon is just way too fucking emotional. I think this guy has more videos of him crying on YouTube than like any other fitness YouTuber. Like, like way too emotional. Way too bipolar. Uh, he would not make it to the pledging process. He would, like, cry way too much. Or, like, his girlfriend would break up with him and he'd start crying. Uh, uh, no bid. Sorry to Brandon. He does seem like a cool guy, but he definitely has got some issues. He definitely should not be a person taking steroids. Next up, Daddy De uh, Delt Daddy Derek. More plates, more dates. Uh, definite bid. He's the Turk and the TRT plug. The whole, uh, the whole fraternity is going to get jacked because Derek's going to get everyone's super physiological doses of tests. Uh, dude's a fucking genius, so you know he has a great GPA. He gets along with everyone. I don't know if anyone who does not like Derek on, like, YouTube. Like, it's, it's kind of amazing how, like, he is, like, the ultimate, like, everyone, like, gets along with him. Uh, he'll definitely be treasurer or president one day. Treasurer because he's good with numbers. And president because I can see this guy leading us and be like, so guys, uh, Derek Moore plays four dates back with another chapter meeting. Uh, I guess he even doing something. I think the only con for Derek would be uh, he might think he's too smart while he's pledging, kind of like Greg. Although Gre Derek seems very humble, but I can see someone saying something to you, and then he'd be like correcting them, and then if he's a pledge, that, that's a big no-no. You, know, you don't do that, even if the person you're correcting is wrong. But overall, uh, he'd probably end up being like pledge class president or something. So definite bid for Derek. Uh, awesome dude. Next up, we got Sush. Uh, so, if you look at the pro column, you'll see that I put Asian. That's actually a thing. Um, I know a lot of guys in fraternities, and I think, well, my fraternity was kind of diverse, so I don't think we had that problem, but I know a lot of my friends who were in diverse fraternities. Like, their nationals were coming to them and were like, hey, dude, you need to, you need to give some, uh, you need to give some, like, black people or some Mexicans some bids because y'all are all white. So, uh, he's an Asian, he's Filipino, uh, so, uh, he he would definitely fit the diversity quota. Definitely needs some more Asians in it. But uh, Sush is a chill dude. Uh, definitely seems like he uh, has the the frat dude vibe. So I think he definitely fit in. Only cons for Sush would be uh, I can see some people thinking he's too cocky. And uh, if you're cocky, if, or if they think you're cocky, they're gonna hate you hard in the pledge process. But sometimes they purposely uh, give people bids that they think are cocky so they can fucking haze the shit out of them and tear them down. And I'm not sure what his GPA would be. I think he went to one year at, like, Liberty University. I think he went to, like, a military – no, he didn't go to Liberty. Did he? He went to some military school, not, like, West Point or something, and he said he hated it, and I'm not sure he had the best GPA. So GPA might be a concern, and people might think he's too cocky, but overall, I'd, I'd give him a bid. Yeah, bid for Sush. Uh, next up, uh, Jeff Nippard. Um, <laughs> so Jeff's a nice guy, and like he gets along with almost everyone that's not named Greg Doucette, and the dude's smart, so he gives you a GPA. But uh, G Jeff definitely uh, sticks uh, like comes out to me as a know-it-all. He would have a rough time in the pledge process. Uh, I can see him trying to trying to like <laughs> tell people like what's right and what's wrong, and get the shit hazed out of him. But also, Jeff's a bit of an SJW. He lives in. Canada, so you can't go too hard on him, but when the whole, like, vaccine, COVID virus stuff, he, like, was super preachy, and, like, I don't care what your politics are, I have friends that are, like, raging liberals, like, borderline communists, I'm, like, personally a little more conservative, but I don't care what your politics are, we can all get along, but if you are just so fucking preachy and all this stuff, and then, like, this, ob is obesity a choice, and he's like, yeah, some people... Obesity's not a choice, it's wrong to say. Shut the fuck up, dude. Obesity's definitely a choice. Quit being a pussy. Uh, this dude would get hazed heavily. And then also, like, I could definitely see Greg, like, tattling to, like, National University about hazing. So, uh, no bid. Jeff gets no bid. Um, he would not make it through the pledge process. Um, although he's a cool dude. And just, uh, no bid. Sorry, Jeff. Ziz. Uh, definite bid. Uh, son of Zeus. Dude totally fucks. King of the Aesthetics. Uh, only downsides for Ziz is that 
he says cut too much. I can see that would uh, ruin sorority relations. <laughs> but I don't give a shit. I, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of crazy how, like, in America, people freak out about cunt. But in, like, Britain and Australia, cunt is, like, a fucking, like, comma. They use a comma. Like, instead of saying, like, you know, and or like or but, they just say cunt. <laughs> fucking hilarious. But that'd be the only one con does is, is that he says cunt a little too much. Uh, other sororities might get pissed about that, but uh, also it's fucking Ziz. Everyone's gonna try to give Ziz a bid, so you better give him a bid first before uh, you know other douchebag fraternities like Pike give him a bid. Uh, I think this is the last one. Uh, Rich Piana. No, 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 no. I have a couple more, but uh, Rich Piana. Dude, everyone loves Rich Piana. Rich Piana is fucking hilarious. Uh, Rich Piana would be a great pledge master. Can you picture like that fucking mountain of of trend just getting in your face and screaming at you? Telling you bows and toes. Uh, Rich Piana's fucking hilarious. The only problem with Rich Piana is that uh, the dude does eight-hour arm workouts. So a lot of people have probably heard of this, but um, it's basically an eight-hour arm workout. So he's not gonna be making. He's not gonna make it to any meetings or events. He might not make it to any of his classes, so he might flunk out. So only con is that uh, he might have to like get on about those eight-hour arm workouts. <laughs> but uh, overall, yeah, Rich Piana automatic bid. Uh, definite bid. Uh, Jesse James West. Uh, I love this dude. He's a really good uh, YouTuber. I think I started subscribing to him before he was at 100,000 subscribers. But, uh, yeah, everyone loves him. Uh, he seems like a smart dude, so he probably has a good GPA, good with ladies. Plays lacrosse, so he's probably uh, really athletic. And probably, well, if he plays lacrosse, he's not allowed to play in intramurals. Uh, yeah, he did play NCAA lacrosse. So I don't think he would be able to play in intramurals. But, you know, plays lacrosse, good with the girls. Only problem is is that uh, he's really nice. Like, he's maybe too nice. People are going to haze the shit out of him and take advantage of that. And then uh, I can see Jesse being the guy who gets the pledge class in trouble. Like, he forgets uh, the name of one of the founders or something, and then everyone in the pledge class gets in trouble, and they all hate him for one day because he was that guy. But overall, definite bid. Jesse James West, cool guy. Definite bid. And this is the last one. Uh, Joey Swole. I fucking love Joey Swole. Uh, if you guys don't follow him on TikTok or you're not on TikTok, uh, he's the guy who, you know, uh, G-checks people when they, like, try to be a douchebag in the gym, and he's like, you know, do better. I fucking love Joey. Everyone loves Joey. He'd be a great chaplain and voice of reason in the chapter. Uh, only downside about Joey is that if uh, fraternity is hazing, he might get a little bit mad. Uh, like, not like him getting hazed, but like other people getting hazed. Uh, so, you know, but you do need, every chapter needs a voice of reason. Every chapter needs a guy like Joey Swole, so definite bid. So I think that's the end of it. Uh, short, sweet YouTube video. Uh, if y'all, if y'all like this, comment down below if you want a part two, because I can think of a couple other, uh, fitness YouTubers that I can go in for bid or no bid. I might even do, like, bid or no bid for, like, other things, like presidents. I think that'd be a funny one. But, uh, comment down below what fitness YouTubers you want me to do for a part two bid or no bid. Uh, I think my next video is going to be a philosophy of Rich Piana. Uh, I'm going to do like the philosophy is this video, but it's going to be philosophy of Rich Piana. I'm definitely going to have some eight hour arm workouts in there, but uh, yeah, comment down below any other videos y'all want me to do. Uh, and I'm at like 500 some subscribers right now, so I'm trying to get up to a thousand. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for checking out the video. Boom. Y'all have a great day.